So my topic is information mm. technology and rural development. Mm. Uh, uh, the in, the rapid growth of internet penetration in the rural sector has influenced it a lot for its development. We can see that uh, the information technology which is reaching to uh, which is reaching every sector of uh, uh, the economy has helped in the development of each and every sector. Uh, like um, it has helped in the um, education sector also, as uh, there has been a digital um, um, uh, digital literacy provided to the uh, students, like online education, and especially during uh, COVID times when uh, offline classes was not available, it played a very important role. Then it has also played an important role in healthcare sector, uh, like telemedicine. Telemedicines are provided to the uh, rural people. They can avail the, they can get diagnosed about their disease and they can take the advantage of what medicine to take sitting at their home in the rural area only then there are um, then there are few uh, sensors uh, has also uh, like to boom the agriculture sector few sensors are also being used to identify that which uh, type of soil can grow which type of crop so that it can enhance the crop productivity and uh, there have been also use of drones in the agricultural sector uh, to um, to know that uh, uh, whether uh, like to know uh, for for irrigation purpose and to know that uh, uh, which climate uh, according to the climate condition which uh, crop uh, can be grown and the uh, what are the uh, what uh, 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 with the crop what um, um, minimum support price can we get and uh, informations like that uh, then few um, uh, smart pesticide solutions are also available uh, like the uh, the traditional pesticides and fertilizers which which are using we can get information about what other smart techniques we can use for the uh, better uh, fertilizing process of uh, of the soil and uh, uh, with this um, uh, method, it is uh, the rural so society is improving at a greater extent. And uh, if more initiatives and more uh, uh, okay, so uh, so uh, thoda sa you could have added something more in it, like uh, due to uh, information technology, uh, the digitalization process has reached in rural area also. Mm -hmm. So they are getting payments or benefit transfer through. Uh, directly from the uh, so directly from uh, government to their account yes, so the mediatory jo wo charges the uh, wo lag rahe so this has been a great relief or uh, finances matlab insurance wagara ya microfinance bhi yes, easy ho gaya wahan pe so anyway matlab you had tried to cover education health and agriculture almost like an economic part of the uh, uh, economic aspect uh, where information technology is helping mm -hmm. can you also tell me uh, that the impact of information technology has been on their society in rural society yes sir sir uh, information technology has helped the rural society for their personality development for building a, a self confidence in them as they they are getting digitally equipped with uh, they are having now everybody almost everybody have some digital devices they are using them for getting information for uh, uh, their literacy which is helping them to educate themselves as well as improve their standard of living and especially to the girls and the women of rural india they are using them so that they could be treated equally and they could have equal stand in the society okay so so uh, the divide between the cultural or social practices from urban area to rural area is very big okay. so don't you think the way uh, information technology is being spreaded and the way uh, all the uh, digital content is decimated in uh, uh, like being spread in the rural area is uh, uh, forcing rural people to follow urban culture or urban uh, societies uh, whatever the so so don't you think that it is it can create some problem ahead or it might be disturbing their uh, the cultural stability or societal stability 
सर आई थिंक दैट डिजिटल टेक्नोलॉजी इज नॉट एक्चुअली फोर्सिंग देम टू अडेप्ट टू द रूरल टेक्निक्स इट्स दे कैन एनहेंस देयर ओन कल्चर एंड देयर ओन वे ऑफ लिविंग ओनली फ्रॉम द डिजिटल थिंग विच इज प्रोवाइडेड लाइक दे कैन यूज दैट डिजिटल थिंग फॉर डिजिटल टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर देयर एग्रीकल्चर पर्पज ऑल्सो सो एंड मेनी ऑफ in some way adopting few good uh, aspects of the urban society can help them in their betterment and they can also use it for their own cultural advancement okay uh, so 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 uh, you have uh, always been in urban setup uh, studied and completed your education in varanasi and delhi yes. uh, so so matlab how do you think that you will be able to work in rural setup because uh, the life in rural area is very limited like uh, you don't have a number of things to visit or even the resources are limited there so will you be able to work in rural society in rural area yes sir i think that um, as i have uh, i had a, a little understanding of the working of the society or the function the hierarchies that the society has because i had sociology at my undergraduate level i think i have little knowledge little basic knowledge about how the society and how the things function and as i have also done an internship it 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 uh, there is a uh, idea behind me that how what are the challenges that i'll be facing or what are the interesting things or activities which i'll get to do and uh, i think that these can become a backbone which will help me in moving forward in this direction no i was talking about the comfort of living matlab they may have uh, lived in urban setup uh, you will not be getting the same comfort in rural area so okay. so will you be comfortable and how will you actually cope up with the challenges sir i think that um, and uh, i think that uh, i really like when i see or when i go to the rural areas i really like the way of their living i like that how they uh, they go through their day to day activities which limited in sufficient resources and i think that um, it is it will be very beneficial for me and it will be very interesting for me to uh, look forward to more opportunities and more challenges which i'll get in the rural sector and i think that um, i am ready to take those challenges and i i i'll really enjoy working in that sector and uh, i feel comfortable staying with people talking to them and i think that this uh, my communication skills or my extrovert personality will help me in adjusting and uh, staying okay. so just to say sir you can also give the example of your uh, rural uh, internship and, and and you can tell that that one month was very matlab happening for you ha uh, yes sir ha uh. usko example mein de sakti ho tum theek hai so so now uh, let's talk about the course based challenges tell me what are the challenges you are going to face uh, if uh, we'll give you admission here and ahead matlab okay. in a study as well as job yes sir sir i think that uh, this course does not have a, a predefined path or a road to walk on uh, to go to an ultimate goal and get all the benefits i think that this course uh, in this course i have to find in which route uh, i can align properly and i have to find uh, the um, i have to reach to my goal slowly yeah. and i have to Uh, take the responsibilities take the opportunities which are coming in my way and then i'll reach to my uh, uh, like it will take time i have to search for the opportunities and the second challenge that i think is uh, uh, it's more of a society based because this program the the reputation or the Uh, the position which it should have in the society does not have it is not appreciated or recognized in the society as it should be so so this can also be a challenge and uh, after completion of this course i think that i can face few challenges uh, um 
uh, making people understand if I'm working in a rural sector, making people understand about my ideas or will I be able to convey what message I want them to know or there can be uh, uh, climate change, uh, uh, there can be um, uh, weather problem or there can be uh, uh, the place where I'm living those place also can have problem. So these are the these are very uh, small challenges which I think I can face. But uh, slowly after getting comfortable in the environment, I think I'll overcome these challenges. Okay. Okay. So so what courses have you applied in TESS? That I've applied for um, communication organization and development program, uh, community organization and development program, and livelihood and social entrepreneurship and rural development. Rural development. Um, those two courses were from uh, Mumbai campus. Okay. And what are the other colleges have you applied? That I've applied in, I applied in uh, Azim Prem University for development, uh, I mean, development studies. And I've applied in Delhi University also for uh, so the Delhi School of Social Work. Okay. So did you qualify the Azim Prem University? No, sir. Uh, Okay, so the, you did appear for the interview or you yes, did sir. not appear? Okay, you did appear. So what do you think? What was the uh, lack or why you did not get selected there? Sir, I think that uh, I, I, I was not uh, enough prepared uh, for the interview and I got nervous when they were asking questions. I think that the thoughts that were I was having in my mind, I was not able to convey them uh, properly. Hmm. Okay, so what have you studied in your graduation? Uh, you have done sociology honors. Yes. So, so what are the subjects that you have studied there? Sir, um, the, like have... chapters or what were the uh, books that you have studied in sociology? Sir, I've studied uh, uh, theories of different uh, sociologists. I have studied about. Uh, Yapi Anki, I'm going to go to the 